Hey Naturals and Eva, it's Afrique T, and I'm here to give you guys a product review for Motion's new Naturally You line. I picked up just one product. My sister, you know, picked up the whole line since, you know, I told you guys, you could actually find her video on my channel where she did her big chop, but she hasn't really been, you know, exploring with, you know, different styles naturally. She's just pretty much had her hair braided up or weaved up. So basically now, being that the, the weather is changing and, you know, we're saying bye to winter, which I won't miss, and hello to spring, then to summer. She wants to you know experiment and see different styles that she can do for her hair. So she pretty much picked up the whole entire line. And you know, based on her, I probably do a double product review with her input on how she likes the line when she decides to use it, which probably be this weekend, hopefully. But um, I picked up just one product. You guys know I love braid outs and twist outs. And so I'm always looking for some kind of pudding, some kind of hold, something to give my twist outs and braid outs some definition without having to add, you know, excess products. So I basically did a wash. My wash day was Sunday. And from Sunday till about, I bought this, I did buy this Monday actually, Monday night. I pretty much had my hair, you know, in a blowout that I was rocking. So... Once I bought this product, the next day I just decided to just, you know, do mini twists. I plan to leave them in because I went to the gym. But um, this morning I decided to take them out to see the results. So, this is the results. And I just pretty much just pinned the sides. And we'll get into all of that later. But let's get into the product review. So, I bought the Hydrate My Curls Pudding. And... I used not that much, just a little bit just to do the twist. I did medium sized mini twist. And then when I took them out, you know, applied my extra virgin olive oil to twist them out. And I'll show you guys the consistency of the product. It's more of a lotion kind of base. And if you take it, you can rub it on and it basically dissolves in your hand. And I just, I just use it basically to do the twist out. And I'll let you guys know the results. So I wrote a couple of things down to basically make sure I give you guys an accurate product review because I would hate for you guys to run to your local Target, Walgreens, Walmart or wherever this product is distributed and you know go out and buy it because you know it is price friendly the product was about five dollars and I bought it at Walmart so I bought a couple of things down and we'll go over it and you know I'll give you my input and hopefully you guys can make you know a conscious decision if you want to go out and buy this so I basically wrote while I was doing my twist out while I was doing my mini twist actually um, I put a little bit in my hand and just basically took the section twist it and you know if I had a little bit of residue still in my hands I would twist the next section I was not dipping my hand to do every twist out with it because I wanted to give it you know an accurate feedback so what I found out once I was completely done with my twist that my hair hands had this greasy kind of feeling after applying it then my hands after for the greasy feeling was you know gone it had like a sticky kind of texture in my hand and then for some reason I don't know I don't want to you know say it's with the product but my hands had like an itchy kind of feeling where the the product was applied to which was basically the 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 bad thing about this product I did not like the feeling afterwards as far as with you know the hold it didn't really give me that good of a definition as I would expect being that it's you know main thing it says is for twist outs and it's also can be applied for you know just basic amount to sh shine and manageable your curls so I really was kind of upset about that then another bad thing was when I seen before I did my twist out I read the back and it says for twists, apply a generous amount to hair and distribute evenly. Follow with naturally you define my curls cream to create the twist. So when I did my twist out and I seen, okay, maybe I didn't have the second thing which they say would be good for the twist. Maybe that's what's contributing to not being defined. But I went to Target, I went to Walgreens, I went to Walmart, I went everywhere. They did not have the product they were speaking of, which is the define my curl cream. Did not find it anywhere, which was very weird. They had a nice little display at Walmart, and the display had four, actually five products. It had the shampoo, the conditioner, hydrate my curls, then it had um, a deep conditioner, as well as, you know, this serum kind of thing. I think it's for heat protection or something of that nature. They did not have the hydrate, the, um, the fine my curl pudding 
anywhere. So that's kind of weird for me. So then I contribute, okay, maybe my twist was not as defined because I didn't have that. But then I was like, no, because even with my other products, like if I use my um, Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, I can use that alone and get really decent defined twist. So that was one thing. The good thing about it is, like I said, it's price friendly. It's only $5. You get a decent amount with it. It's an eight floor ounce with this. The smell is not that bad. It's you can basically smell. It smells like just natural, you know, pudding with avocados, mostly the primary smell you smell with that. Okay. Some of the ingredients is, you know, water. I believe this has sulfate in it. It has a lot of other things I can't pronounce, which I will definitely put up in this video as well as the description. And it says versus non-conditional shampoo and when used with naturally you condition mask. So basically, I believe this whole line is trying to gear you towards using their whole product line in order to get what results you're looking for. Like I told you guys, I'm really big on twists and twist outs and braid outs. So I always look for something to hold in to give me that nice definition. And just because it's price friendly doesn't mean that it's, you know, something that I'm going to add to my regimen. Or it might be price friendly. It's not something that you feel you want to add as well. So I pretty much won't be buying this again. And it just has to do with just I did not like the feeling my hands had. And as far as my hair, it's not hydrated like it claims. My hair is like right now, it's really dry. Really, really dry. Like I already know tonight when I do. I probably not even tonight. Like once I finish with this video, I'm going to probably twist my hair up again. And I'm just going to use my regular Shea Moisture or maybe just coconut oil and Shea Butter. Because my hair right now is lacking the hydration that it consists of or says it will give it. It does not have that feeling at all. Like my hair does feel soft in certain areas. Maybe the front. But the back it does not. And I basically slept the regular way. I put my silk bonnet on. I just bought a silk, silk pillowcase not too long ago. Actually the same day I bought that product. I bought the silk pillowcase. And you know there should be no reason why my hair is this excessively dry the way it is. So... I'm really, you know, not feeling this as much as I would thought I would. You know, just because this price finally doesn't mean it's for me. So I'm pretty much, you know, not going to try this again. And, you know, it's basically on your own discretion. You may say, okay, maybe it didn't work for her. But I generally have, you know, manageable soft hair. It's to the point some people don't even believe I have no relaxer in my hair some days. So it's like really, you know, really rare that my hair feels this excessively dry. I can't even get my, my hand in my hair yeah like right now i don't know maybe my opinion may be different you guys may think my hair looks really you know nice but to me it's like does not feel the same way it usually does and on top of that my hands like i used to show you guys the consistency in this hand but this hand right here feels really greasy when i ran it through my hands that's another thing i do not like i do not like having a grease build up in my hand as if i'm frying chicken or something so that's another, you know, thumbs down. So, yeah, Divas. Um, my opinion, it's not worth trying. Actually, no, I take that back. My opinion, I won't be trying this again. But if you're the type of person who likes Motions products, I really never did like any Motion products. Even when I was relaxed, I even never even liked their relaxer. So, if you're the type of person who likes Motion, it's really affordable. It's only $5. I would say, you know, give it a try. Maybe I'll end up liking something other than the curling pudding or styling agents. Maybe I'll end up liking their shampoo, their deep conditioner, or something of that nature. But this is not something I'm going to buy again. So I'll probably give it to my sister. She'll probably enjoy this more than me. But that thing. So dolls, I finally got my Entwine products. And I bought the Creme de la Mode and the Buttercream Hydrator. I got these actually for free. I won the contest for the um, black hair story and I end up, you know, posting a picture of when I first had my red hair color in and I got a lot of likes. So I basically won the product for the day, which was a $25 gift certificate to buy the products. And I ended up just, you know, putting extra price to get one more, which was about $6. So I will be doing a review soon on these products, but no, motions, no, not for me. 
so I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully I have some more, you know, videos up. I really feel I'm doing really good as far as, you know, updating you guys. I want to have a video for you guys every day and be more consistent being that I'm off. But, yeah, I'm going to Zumba tonight and, you know, take my sisters. You know, I joined the gym. I haven't been there in, like, a month. Yesterday was, like, the first time in, like, a month I've been there. So I'm pretty much trying to get back into the routine of, you know, getting in shape. You know, before you know, summer will be here. And I'll be dreading putting a two-piece on, but I need to get my stomach back into shape. Being married has really, you know, packed on those extra pounds that I want to get rid of. But I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.